Hello everyone, this is Tamala. Welcome back again to another exciting episode of Designing with Tamala Bowie Interiors. And I have a great show lined up for you today. So in my first segment, I'm going to show you how you can uniquely display some of your favorite jewelry pieces using close jars. And in the second segment, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite decorative accessories that I'm going to use to decorate in and around my home. And in my last segment, I have another decorating dilemma that I'm going to need you your help to resolve. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so if you're anything like me, you probably have some favorite pieces of jewelry that you like to wear the majority of the time, and you probably don't want to spend a lot of time digging through your jewelry collection just to get to those favorite pieces. So in this first display, I'm going to create this elegant jewelry display stand just using this close jar, also this silver cake stand platter and this little bird statue that I found is probably not a jewelry holder but it's going to be one in this particular display and then some of your favorite pieces of jewelry so you just simply take the bird stand and I'm mixing the metals here if you see this is in gold and the cake platter is in silver but just as in interior design you can mix your metals you can also mix your metals when you're creating different displays so I'm just adding some of my favorite pieces of jewelry to this little bird stand and this is going to make it a lot easier to get dressed in the morning especially these are the pieces that I like to wear a lot because they're very simple and elegant so I'm just going to hang these on these little um, stands and also at the bottom it has a little area that I'm going to place some of my favorite rings and then I just simply take the cloche and I'm going to place it over the entire stand and now I have created this beautiful and elegant jewelry stand holder that's going to display some of my favorite pieces of jewelry that I like to wear and this was so simple and easy to make this will look good on top of your dresser or on top of your vanity wherever you um, store a lot of your jewelry pieces okay so now this second look is a great way to store some of your favorite bracelets and again I have an overabundance of bracelets but I still have some of my favorites and so how I'm going to create this second look again is with another cloche and of course some of my favorite bracelets and now this is what makes it whimsical. This is actually a doll stand. You know when you have those porcelain dolls you would actually place the doll between these hooks so it can stand erect. And now with this second look you just simply take the cloche jar of the doll stand and some of your favorite bracelets and I just slide these on to here. And then you have this little area down here on the bottom and put some of my other favorite bracelets and voila you just place the cloche on top and now you have this beautiful elegant whimsical bracelet stand just by using a simple doll stand and a cloche jar now for this third look i'm going to create a look that's going to be very formal and elegant and for this third look again you're going to need another cloche jar you're going to need a plate stand and you're gonna need a beautiful plate, and in this case, I'm using one of my blue and white plates from my blue and white plate collection. And then I'm also going to use a pair of my beautiful pearls. And so you just simply take the plate stand, you will place your plate on the plate stand. You would add the beautiful pearls or whatever necklace of your choosing. And then you just take the close jar and you would just simply place it over the display. So now you have created this beautiful and elegant jewelry display using a close jar, one of your favorite mini plates, a plate stand, and also a beautiful strand of pearls. So now guys, did you not enjoy those three displays that I created using just simple items you may have already around your home and some close jars? And I created those three unique, beautiful display stands. And I found the inspiration just by looking on Pottery Barn. They had these particular sets, but I'm like, you know what? I can create my own set. So now in my second segment, I'm going to share with you some of my new decorative accessories that I purchased to use and decorate in and throughout my home. So let's go ahead and jump right into the second segment. 
Now, if you follow me on my Instagram, you would have got a sneak preview of my acrylic tic-tac-toe game board. And I picked this up from Home Goods. And my family and I, we are really enjoying spending time playing tic-tac-toe uh, championship tournaments and just really enjoying this particular board. And what I love the most about it is that it flows with my color scheme in my home. And also, when it's not being used, it looks great sitting on my coffee table. So I really enjoyed this. And I'm sure this is going to be something that's going to be in my um, household as, and as well as a decorative piece in my home for quite some time. So now this table runner is another uh, decorative accessory that I'm loving um, in my home. And you guys are going to have the opportunity to see where I'm actually using this to decorate my home. But I love it because it has the tassels. It has the colors that I'm using throughout my home. I love the pattern that is on this table runner as well. It has somewhat of a scattered pattern with a little bit of emblem on it. And some of the areas are raised. And so this is beautiful and I'm going to use it in my home in a way that you would probably not typically see a runner being used in the home. So you guys in my spring makeover of my family room, you're going to get the opportunity to see how I use this gorgeous runner in my home. Okay, so I'm sure you guys are probably noticing the color story here. And the color story of my home are the turquoises, the blues, the teals, the whites, the blacks. And so I fell in love when I found these two pieces of art. And in each particular frame, there is a different pattern. And so I am excited to be able to incorporate these two pieces of art into my home. And what I love the most about these two pieces of art is that that I can hang them vertically or I can also hang them horizontally and so they will give me two different looks depending on which way I decide to hang them in my home so you can't never go wrong when you end up purchasing art that you really love and actually art that fits into your decor scheme and color story as well now this is my last piece of decorative accessory that I purchased for my home and you're probably wondering what is this well this is going to be a DIY project that I'm going to incorporate into my formal dining room area once well I can't tell you how I'm going to use this yet because this piece actually is going to be a piece of the puzzle to help solve my decorating dilemma and that decorating dilemma segment is coming right up in segment three so let's jump right over to segment three okay guys so now we're to the last segment and if you remember in the beginning part of the video I asked that you guys help me resolve a decorating dilemma and if you remember in the last segment, I showed you a piece of furniture that is going to be a DIY that I'm going to use to help resolve the decorating dilemma. So now, without further ado, this is the decorating dilemma. Back on January 29th, I had a flood in my home. The hose on my washing machine was not properly installed by the company that I purchased it from. So nonetheless, um, it came from the washing machine and it flooded out my formal dining and formal living room area as well as my pantry and as well as the laundry room. And so that means what? I get new flooring in that particular area of my home, the formal living, the formal dining. So now my decorating dilemma is I've always loved the look of carpet because to me carpet is very elegant and it also lends itself to a form of formality. However, my formal living room and my formal dining room are the only spaces in my home that have carpeting. The rest of my home is ceramic tile and wood. So now as a designer, I know that you typically do not put wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in public areas of the home, but I just love the look of carpet. So now my decorating dilemma that I need for you guys to help me to resolve, should I go with a pattern carpet in my formal dining, formal living, or should I go with wood floors? And once I can resolve that dilemma, I can show you what that particular accent piece of furniture, how I incorporate it into my newly redecorated formal dining and formal living once I get the new flooring in. So if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I would love for you to hit the subscribe button if you want to get more tips on design and decorating. And don't forget to comment below. Help me with my decorating design dilemma. And also let me know what part of this video did you like the most. And once again, thank you. 
thanks for watching Designing with Tamala Bowie Interiors. Designing for how you really live in your home. Bye!